Right. So nothing's worse than loading your bow back up and one of your boards splitting. So that's the little project today is uh, changing out the bunker bunkers on the trailer. So, all right. All right, first thing, measure the length of your two by fours so you know what to buy. Then you're gonna wanna measure this. Use one of those little, I don't know the right word that you call it, but like a ratchet thing with the little piece, little ratchet. Use a little ratchet and uh, see what it is. And then when you go to the store, you'll be able to find one. I bought lag screws. Um, let me show you. They're a little bit, they're meant for me to go from wood to metal. But you know, this seems like good of a purpose as any and they're pretty heavy duty self-tapping and yeah that should be the trick so anyhow that's my surprise all right so first troubleshooting task my boards were too long for the carpet so i did cut about a half an inch off Oh my gosh, six inches. I said a half inch. I had to cut six inches off the 12 foot board. Bam. Now the board fits perfectly. All right, so my dog was barking hysterically in that clip, the original clip. So I'm just gonna talk you through it here. I had to put the boards on top of the boat to work with them because I don't really have a table that's large enough. So you're just gonna go through and I found it easier to staple one end and then work my way down, stapling one side of the fabric and then going back over and pulling it tight like that and then giving it another staple to really get it in there. Um, that's one of the boards, 96% of the way done. And that is what one completed recarpeted board looks like. Next up, these three. All right, last part of changing out the bunkers. We got the boat in the water, and now I'm lining them up. Make sure they fit where they need to fit, and then I'm going to mark them and put them on. Expert tip, turn the trailer on the side. Damn. All right, now we're just drilling the hole and wrenching them in. Right about now is when I realized that it was too hard to have my um, aunt hold the board plus me ratchet and drill. So we flipped the trailer back down and I just got underneath it with some towels. It was pretty uncomfortable, but it was efficient. Hence the efficient part. I'm just rolling it to where I need it to be. Obviously, I can see the prosthetics. Um, don't stop me from doing anything, but if there's a way that I can make something simpler in my life, that's what I did. <laughs> that's how you drill a hole. <laughs> take my bones. Beautiful. Now we'll see. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll get it on there somehow. Well, needless to say, we got it on there. Had to tighten some screws once we got on the highway and kind of bounced around a little bit. So we had to tighten these up a little this morning. But other than that, it was perfect and it saved us hundreds of dollars to do it ourselves. Going again tomorrow. Wish us luck.